And I know my lighting is terrible. Oh, but my fingernails look so pretty in this yellow lighting. Okay, lame. Anyways, so I drank some soda and I'm ready to do my June TBR. Now, I told you guys already that my theme this month is ARC month, but I'm going to play it by ear. I am just going to list all the books that I have that I must read this month and we'll see what comes of it. Um, I have been doing TBRs for the last couple months now and usually I'm pretty good at reading everything on my list. I usually don't take things that don't belong on the list if that makes sense. So if I don't get to all the books it's just because I was slow at reading and I had my expectations <laughs> were too high for that month. I usually don't go off of my list to go read something else. I usually stick to it. Okay, with all that said, I'm going to start with my library books that need to be read. Um, some of them I have checked out numerous times and some that I haven't. So for instance, my Through the Zombie Glass by Gina Showalter. I still, I'm only 10% in this book. I don't know why, but when I read the first one, it's, it was really entertaining and then I've read a hundred books since I read this one. This one I read I think in 2012 and since then all of the books that I read have just been a lot more entertaining and this one has been so slow at the beginning and maybe I'm just not ready for this but I've been, I think I've checked this out five times now and it really needs to be read and so I'm going to try and trudge through and, and finish this book. Um, if not, I will just return it and then check it out some other time. All right, next on the list is The Red Glove, which is the sequel to White Cat, and this is the Curse Workers trilogy from Holly Black. I am just a few pages in, and it is okay so far, but I really do need to finish this one as well. I also have the trilogy for Tahara Mafi. So I finished Shattered Me a month or two ago. I just read the novella, which was Destroy Me. So I need to do Unravel Me and Ignite Me. <clears throat> so that way I can get to Fracture Me. So I have all of these books. Um, I'm able to keep them for a while longer. So... Hopefully I can get through these. And um, I mean that those three books are my main goal um, this this month. The other ones I are standalones and I you know I can always check them out at a different time, but those three books I really want to get done and over with because I hate having uh, series unfinished. I, I want them all done and over with so I can get into other books and if I have them hanging around then sometimes I forget what's going on or I get um, I don't know I lose interest and so I don't want to pull this down a bit more I don't want to lose interest in the books so with that being said I really need to finish that those this month I also have The Farm by Emily McKay this is a dystopian apocalyptic like post-apocalyptic a vampire book and I kind of looked all these up just in case you guys wanted to know the information um, I, it has three books out so far so I don't know if it's a trilogy or it's a series in continuation but I do want to read that book I also have Dangerous by Shannon Hale um, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on this how it's not that great this one is a science fiction book and so we'll see we'll see it I grabbed it because I've seen it around um, booktube but I'm I don't know if I'm interested in it I'll have to read you know the first couple chapters to see how I like it this one however I am interested in reading and it's called the reformed vampire support group by Katherine Jinx 
and this is a paranormal vampire book obviously with the whole support group part here I think this is going to be a funny book and I love reading um, funny paranormal horror books I mean if you guys haven't heard my reviews on Gina DeMaico's Croak series which they are Grim Reapers you really need to check out that series because it's hilarious it's hilarious and it's good and it's funny and it's just telling you really good series all right those are the library books I have now on this Thursday the bookmobile comes and all of these books were supposed to come a couple weeks ago but because of the fires we couldn't have the bookmobile Duh. And so I'm getting a whole bunch of sequels on the darn bus, you know, this Thursday, and I have moved on. But these books I've been waiting for for a really long time, so I have to read them. And so the books that will be coming on Thursday is Sever, which is the third and final book in the Chemical Garden series. And I'm really excited to find out what happens with that because I just read Fever, and that was the second book, and that was really good. Um, also, I'm getting Amulet Book 4, which is the graphic novel of the little girl and boy who have to save the world. It's not their, like, human Earth world. It's a, another world that they are a part of now. And um, I also have The Evolution of Maya Dyer by Michelle Hodgkin. Hod Hodgkin? Um, hopefully I'm not totally messing up her last name. I loved, I loved the first book. So I cannot wait to read the second one. And the third one comes out this year in October, I think, maybe earlier. I don't know. Maybe it's June. Is it in June? Oh my God, it's in June. June 10th. It comes out June 10th, which is in nine days. So that one is The Retribution of Maya Dyer. If you guys, if you guys haven't read the first two yet, and I'm just speaking because the first one was so good, I'm sure the second one's going to be just as good. I just can't, I can't wait to read it. All right, um, the next book that will be coming on the bookmobile is Time Piece, which is the sequel to Hourglass, and that one is a historical fiction book about time travel. I'm not, not historical story. It's science fiction, not historical fiction. Science fiction, time travel book. And the first one was really good. And I'm also getting Rebel Angels, which is another sequel. <sighs> what was the first one called? The Sweet Far Thing, or was that the third? It's by Libba Bray. And... I really liked it. And that one is a historical fiction. It's about not they're not witches, but they have magic. And so I'm excited to continue with that one. And then now we can get to my arcs. And this this is the reason why it's arc month. So I got let me just kind of show you. I got all of these books and um, from Goodreads. So I got this book, which is the In Between um, by Barbara Stewart. This one I got last November, which I am shamed, ashamed that I haven't read it. It's not even that long. Um, it's only it's only 248 pages. So I'm really upset that I didn't read this. I feel bad, but I'm going to this month. So if I had to put it in order, it'd be the Unravel Me. Shatter Me series, and then this book, because this one is way overdue. Next, I got Fiendish by uh, Brina Jovanoff, and I love her paranormal um, books. I've read two so far, Paper Valentine and The Replacements, and so I'm excited to own this one. I also bought another one by her. I really like this author, and I was excited that I had won this book on Goodreads. This one comes out this month in June. Um, it doesn't say the exact date of when it comes out, but it says June on the book. And then when I looked it up, do I have it on here? When I looked it up, 
it said something about later on in the year, so I don't know if Razorbill, which is the uh, publishing company, if they have switched when it is going to be released or not, but the book says June, so I'm going to be reading it. And I will be reviewing all of my ARCs um, one at a time on my channel, so look forward to listening to me discuss what I think about these books. Next, I got The Fever by Megan Abbott. This also, this comes out June 17th of this month by Little Brown Publishing. And this is a horror book that I won from Goodreads a couple weeks ago. I am so excited to read this one. Um, I like, I like any horror books. So this just seemed awesome. And I'm not going to talk about it because... I'm going to give you the review when I'm done reading it. And then I just got this um, a couple days ago, and this one is called Blur by Stephen James. I think, I think this is going to be uh, a trilogy or a series, but this is the first book. And did it come out already? I think it's already out because there's no, it's not really an arc, it's just a, a book that I won on Goodreads and so I really, really want to read this book as well. And so those are the four um, books that I got from Goodreads. Next is my PDFs that I have put onto my Kindle and the first two are, um, where did I say, it is a romance, a fantasy romance, written by Carol Oates. And I don't know if you can see that because I have the old Kindle, so there's no color. But this one is called Shades of Atlantis, the first one, and the second one is called Shades of Avalon. Avalon came out in April, and so I was contacted by her editor, I think that's how you say it, and she contacted me and asked me if I wanted to read the books, and I'm excited to read them. So, yay, I will be reading those ones. And next on my PDF list is, oh, I turned it off. We'll turn back on, please. I meant to hit home. I meant to hit home. So, next on my list is, here we go. This is not a very good um, cover, but this is X Factor by Eliza Dane, or AKA Lisa Sanchez. I'm excited to read this one. This is a contemporary um, sports genre book. I think it's about um, cheerleading, and she's a mom of cheerleaders, so I'm sure this book is gonna be extremely detailed and fun, and hopefully um, kind of catty. And lastly, on my PDFs, oh, I did it again. I turned it off. Last on my PDFs is, here we go, Parts and Rec. Is it Parts and Rec? Yeah, Parts and Rec by um, Mark Henry. He is a author that, you know, does indie publishing, so he publishes it himself. He does have... Velveteen, which was published, I think, you know, the traditional way, and um, I haven't yet gotten that book yet, but he asked if I wanted to read this book, and I said I did, and then he also sent me a novella for his Amanda Farrell series, and it is called Blanket and Bloodbath, Beach Blanket and Bloodbath. I couldn't get it on my Kindle, so I'm going to have to read it on my computer. It didn't transfer, so... I'm excited to read that. So I have five, five uh, Kindle PDF, you know, books to read, four of the ARCs. Um, I do want to get through those. And if anything, like I said, I'm going to try and read the Shatter Me series, definitely. The Reformed Vampire Support Group and then these arcs before the month is over. 
I'm not going to bring any additional books in because um, I already have at least 20 books and that's really bad. I mean, I, I read 18 in May, sort of, because that was a lot of graphic novels. I think I can do it. If I'm not distracted, I think I can do it. And it is going to be the summer in a week, and so I'll have lots of free time to read while the kids are swimming in the pool. So that was my TBR for June. I hope you all have a great week, and I will see you tomorrow with the bookshelf tours. Bye! Talk to you later.